This is a left temporal bone. On the back side of the petrous ridge, posterior to the internal acoustic meatus, look for a slight change in the contour or an indentation that marks the position of the endolymphatic sac. The vestibular aqueduct containing the endolymphatic duct connects with the sac and opens into the sac beneath this ridge. The final structure on the posterior slope of the petrous ridge is a notch directly inferior to the internal acoustic meatus. This notch marks the intracranial opening of the cochlear aqueduct. This provides a potential route of communication between the perilymph and the scala tympani and the CSF of the cranial cavity.